Hello YouTube, a short video, just wondering, can a modern computer boot to MS-DOS? Now, this isn't exactly modern anymore, this is 2011, but the architecture is modern, it's a moder modern um, Intel Core i5 processor. So, can it boot to MS-DOS? Well, to answer that, I've created an MS-DOS boot floppy actually says Windows 98 on there but trust me it's MS-DOS 6.22 6 and we're gonna test it there's no floppy or CD drive on here I could of course use USB or a CD drive externally but it didn't quite feel right so instead I got this very cheap but very nice 3.5 inch Flop drive, connect via USB. So let's test it out. I'm gonna plop the ThinkPad onto the dock. Didn't quite sit there properly, but that's fine for our purposes. Then I'm just gonna take the floppy drive and connect it to the ThinkPad. There we go. Now, I've also went to BIOS and set the boot order to the floppy drive. To the floppy drive before I started recording. So, I'll show how to do it anyway, but I've already done it. So, first of all, we're going to turn on our computer. Then we're going to press F1. To go into the BIOS, you can see the floppy drives buzzing. So we can go to config, actually, not config. We're gonna go to startup, We're gonna go to boot. And here we go. We've got USB FDD at the top, and that's the one you want if you want to boot off a floppy. Then I've got CD ROM here, a USB hard drive, which is the same as a high capacity USB drive of any kind and external CD which I don't have and of course ADA HDD0 is the SSD inside the machine so we'll go through the top three look for bootable things before going to my Linux install on the SSD so let's save and exit hit an F10 and before we do that just gonna plop this floppy plop into the floppy drive I, I mean the floppy drive there we go I'm gonna press save configuration and exit this should restart the computer with the new boot, boot order in place you can see the floppy drive is making noises See if it does anything. And A hey, starting MS DOS. There we go. So we've got DOS. In. There we go. Directory of A. I don't think we can go into C drive. Yeah. There isn't one, so. <laughs> In any case, why don't we try to start something? I mean, there isn't actually a lot that we can do on here, but why not try QBasic? This is MS DOS Q Basic. I'm gonna press Escape to clear this dialog box, and um, let's just write something. Never actually used this before. So ten, print 
hello world. 20, go to 10. And let's press, and it says F5 to run. So let's press F5. Oh my God, what have I done? It will now continually say hello world in this, for some reason, very threatening manner. On the camera, it might look like it's just stuck, but to me at least, in the bottom right corner, you can see the words are um, distorting. And that's because this is actually just spamming it on the screen. Oh god, that's horrifying for some reason. How do you stop this? Oh no. Won't stop now. Pressing escape does nothing, no. Okay, um, no seriously, how do you stop this? There we go. Prince screen pop, stop, did it? This is strange. Maybe it was the pause key. In any case, I can't seem to actually be able to do anything now. It's interesting. I have never used this. I didn't even know it was something that was on the... On this floppy. Can press shift F1. Well, I guess we should try to exit. So alt. Then file edit nothing seems to actually do anything well Sam is DOS for you Microsoft Q basic thanks for watching and uh <whistles> bye